Today I am announcing that I will not be seeking a contract extension with the Miami Marlins, Mattingly, 61, said in a statement. After meeting with Mr. Sherman, owner Bruce Sherman, and discussing with general manager, Kim Ng, all parties agreed that it was time for a new voice for the organization. I am proud and honored to have served as manager of the Marlins for the past seven years and have enjoyed my experiences and relationships I've developed within the organization. I look forward to spending time with my family in Evansville and to any future endeavors. Mattingly, who played for the New York Yankees from 1982 to 95, became Marlins manager in 2016 and owns a 437 to 583 in seven seasons with the franchise. Mattingly went 446 to 363 in five seasons as manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers before he joined the Marlins. The Marlins made the playoffs in the pandemic-shortened 2020 season. They beat the Chicago Cubs in the National League wildcard round, but then lost to the Atlanta Braves in the National League Division Series. We are fortunate to have had Don Mattingly leading our team on the field over the last seven years, Sherman said. He has represented the Marlins, our players, our fans, and the South Florida community with unmatched dignity and pride. Over the course of our recent conversations with Don, we both agreed not to pursue a new contract for the 2023 season and that the time is right for a new voice to lead our clubhouse. He will depart with the most wins and most games managed in franchise history and we are proud of Don's many accomplishments, including winning the National League Manager of the Year in 2020 when he guided the Marlins to the postseason after a 16-year absence. The Marlins, 63-89, are in fourth place in the National League East, 32.5 games behind the first-place New York Mets. They will host the last-place Washington Nationals, 52-99, at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday at Loandapot Park in Miami.